So not only are we late, but this is the same situation that we were in last time we were going to LA. We're late, we woke up late, it's six in the morning, and I gotta start this car. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yikes. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So we are currently on our way to LA. We're pretty much going to, not the same meet, but the same people who hosted the last meet that we went to in LA. It's kind of sort of the same thing this time, except it's at a different location. Now, they're having two meet at different locations where I'm at. So the first one was gonna be at West Coast Exotics, or is at West Coast Exotics today in Marietta. The second one's gonna be in Inglewood at 405 Motoring. Now, the very last minute last night, it was like eight or nine o'clock last night, I decided, cause I was gonna go to Marietta cause it's way closer to me, right? West Coast Exotics. But at the very last minute, like eight or nine o'clock last night, I decided that I was gonna go to Inglewood. Reason why is cause I've been to West Coast Exotics twice and I've yet to be in Inglewood at 405 Motoring. Like I've never been. It looks like their shop, like their facility it looks sick. So decided to go and check it out today. So first things first is we're doing the exact same thing that we did last time. So we're going to uh, the IE first because there's going to be like a little cruise, right? We meet it with Kicks and because Kicks is the one that's pretty much hosting the cruise, I guess you could say. He's, he had like a meetup location, so everybody's going to meet up there. So we're going to meet up there in the IE. I think it's in um, Ontario, I think it is. So we're going there first and then we're going to cruise to LA, Inglewood to the 405 motoring. So it should be pretty cool. So they're supposed to be meeting up at seven at this meetup spot in Ontario. And they're leaving at 7.30 sharp. Y'all, we're not gonna get there until 7.30. Yo, it's not, it's not focusing, but yeah, we're getting there at 7.30. Good morning, sir. It's so funny to me how I can literally spot a cop away. Dark light behind me, in front of me, it doesn't matter. On the side of me. Literally, I saw him coming up. I saw the headlights and I was like, mm. I was like, mm, it looks like the new Explorers. He comes up closer, I'm like, that's for sure a cop, bro. And, lo well and behold, my mans. I just don't like how he's getting over like that. That susses me out. And we just made it here. As you guys see, it's the same location as it was last time. Now, the cool thing is, this is the only stop. Last time when we came here, there were multiple stops and that's how we ended up getting lost, but got a couple people out here though. Should be a cool little, uh, little turnout. Cool little cruise, like those wheels. White calibers, let's see. So we have a Mark 7 GTI right now. I said it in the past, I like this color by the way, but I said it in the past though, this was gonna be the car that we were gonna get when we got in the car scene, right? He said this one's big turbo E85 full boltons and it's over 500. Is this stick? I wanna see, is this stick shift? It is stick shift, so this actually would be a cool little run with the Z. Pretty sure it's lighter, but. Uh, yeah, you can see the bigger turbo back there. Yeah, I see you, my boy. Yeah, I like the color. Dude, this, this just hella reminds me, because like I said, I wanted this car so freaking bad, bro. It just didn't, it didn't fall through, and that's how we ended up getting the ST, but it's kind of cool to see somebody uh, actually went full force with it, because you don't really see, like, people do full bolt-ons, you know, stage four, three, whatever, but you never see like, a, at least I never see like a big turbo one, so it's pretty cool. Looks spicy though, man. Oof, love this car. We got kicks out here in his S15, looking clean. Those wheels, bro, goodness gracious. I always say it though, but BMWs do know how to get their fitment dialed in. Look at that, yo. Shout out to Nick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. We are heading out. This would be a nice little cruise, to be honest. Kicks gave me the heads up. Do not race that vent, he said. Let's see if I could, if I could uh, yeah, focus on it. He said, do not race that vent. Bro, look at that tire on there. That's like a 325, yo. It literally fills out that whole wheel well. But he said not to race it because it's like a thousand horsepower. So I'm like, cool. Thanks for the heads up, dog. <laughs> All right, so you guys know that we always stay in low boost. We stay in low boost. We never go on high boost, right? But today, I think we need to go on high boost, baby. Woo! Yes, sir. Don't got no heart, I got an ice box. Brand new roller, swap out the G-Shock. Moving slowly, I know the street hat. 
No more double go ahead of detox. Yeah, yeah. Came from the This is the exact same thing that happened last time except worse. We're literally at a complete stop. We got traffic behind us. They literally stopped the freeway, dog. Oh, it looks like somebody dropped a garbage can. You see the cop. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he was walking the garbage can across the freeway. Dang, that could have been bad. And I'm not gonna lie, I might need me an S15. Just look how it looks from the rear. That wing, those tail lights, pretty clean. So we raced that GTI. I, I couldn't film it because obviously I'm holding the camera out. I can't like race, film, and then shift, right? But we we raced him. Now you guys know, I'm, I'm not gonna make excuses. You guys know that our clutch is slipping, right? Whatever. I use second gear in this car to get me up there and then third gear really like keeps me up there, right? I can't use second gear because my clutch slips. And I tried testing it out to see if I could actually use it. So I did like a little test pull and it slipped right away. So I was like, ah, whatever it is, what it is. So I literally just used third gear to race him. And I had him on the jump, but then he pretty much reeled me in and he passed me up. And we have made it. This place is actually bigger than what I thought, to be honest with you. But before we actually even go deeper into it, you guys already know what we got to work they at. They said they fixed that. I read it in like, okay, fix that. Oh my God, bro. This is literally the dream car right here, dog. Like literally. That chalk gray. GT2 RS. That's crazy. So you got a 991, then you got a 992 over there. Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Dog, what? Six, seven, five, LT. Got the wing up, just, just. Just casually chilling, you know. Got the super over here, guys. <laughs> Speechless. This is crazy. Wait, isn't isn't this the one that uh has the two J in it? Fitman's on point. I would love to see the Z underneath this lighting, dog. I love it. Got a GTR in here. Got a 350Z. And we got a kick's car. Dude, it would look so sick. You guys know the, G the Z would look so sick underneath here. At this point, dog, give me any color. I don't even care anymore. So sick, dog. So, so sick. Like, look at those seats. I don't know if you guys will be able to get the detail of the seats. A little bit. Like, bro. Oh my god. This is crazy. So sick. Oh, look at the tire on that thing. That's crazy. Hey. Yeah. That's crazy. I just can't get over these wheels though, bro. And, and this fool is actually rubbing them, or was, is or was, because you can kind of see it. But the thing is, I wanted these for the Z, but you guys know, like, a set of these, just two. When I say set, I mean two. It's like 4,500, basically like five grand, bro. Mm, can't do it. Maybe in the future when I'm rich. What's going on out here? It's just another 2RS. <laughs> That's crazy, man. One day. I've actually never seen one of these. I think they they do this one to paint it maybe, I could be wrong, and two to like check out if there's like any rest or anything like that. It's kind of like a rotisserie but for a car. I've never seen one bro. I've always wondered how they put it on here. Looks like they screw it on maybe? But then it looks welded. I don't know, I'm kind of confused. Either way, it's kind of interesting to see. I don't know if you guys ever seen one. Let's go on the other side of it. <laughs> this guy is literally just chilling sideways, dog. 
It's crazy. Dog, I just, I just made it. Look at the cluster. Full doing his light scan face. North, North Los Angeles. <laughs> This is the definition of my car was wrapped. I can unwrap it, but I'm gonna leave all the annoying parts for you guys to do. Literally, the door trims or window trims. You have like corners like this, the emblem, the tail light. What's interesting though is this, uh, the headliner is purple. I don't know if you guys can see that, how well you can see it. It's interesting. Looks like a regular Jaguar, huh? Nothing special, black. BBS is obviously it's older, right? It looks older. Automatic, it looks like. None major. Nope. Let's go to the other side. Show you the front end. Dog, this is two Jay Z spot. When I saw this, I was like, what the fudge? The, the dedication that goes into two Jay swapping something like this. Gotta respect it. That's crazy. So we saw this car at the last one, right? And what was it, Agara? Whatever, you guys remember it, right? Wendy and SX, I remember I saying that I thought the Wendy and SX was the right-hand drive one. You guys, you guys remember. I never saw the hood popped. Tall. That turbo is bigger than my head. I heard that this one makes a thousand horsepower though, so this is also another car that's off limits. If you guys ever see it rolling around? Well, I mean, look at the plate. Dude, I love how simple it is inside. I absolutely love that. I don't know, that's one of my things, right? I love how he has the gauges right there. That looks like it was the vents at one point. The stereo has no buttons. It's like very, very pleasing inside. The steering wheel, all of it. Oh boy, got a sunroof. Love it. Love it. That's so sick, dog. Look how sick that looks just coming down the street. I came outside real quick just to take a look to see what was out here and casually I see a right-hand drive R35 Millennium Jade just drive past. Yeah. What in the world? Dog, what? No. Are, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Are, are, are you seeing what I'm seeing? How? Dog, how? I'm like, I'm mind blown right now. That's crazy. Maybe we should do a hood dump on the Z. It's not full send enough because the, the wheels don't give it off enough. I think we need a hood dump. You guys see how crazy that sounds? I told you guys, I'd, I'd get uh, Mark V, definitely. No hate for it, though. And it is time to head home. It's gonna take us two hours and 15 minutes to get back to San Diego, so. It's 11 o'clock right now, so I figured I'd kinda just start that drive now, cause I don't wanna get back too late. Yo, why does he look like that, uh, I can't remember what his name is, but he looks like that guy that, that owns that R8 that lives in like, out of state. I forgot his name, it's like twin turbo. Can't remember. If you guys know who I'm talking about, I don't even know if that's him or not. It looks like him, but if that's him, then you know what I'm talking about. And here we go. There's never traffic anywhere else but entering San Diego. I got out of LA perfectly fine. No tra I literally did not hit traffic not once leaving LA. Entering San Diego, I have to sit in an hour worth of traffic, guys. An hour worth of traffic. 
Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm even complaining. I knew this was going to happen. Like, I literally knew it. I literally knew it the moment I decided that I was going to go to a meet today. Or at least that meet, which was last night around 8 or 9. I knew it. All right, let's see if we can do this quietly. The first point of hump. Like I guess there's guys in the last video. The only reason why I'm noisy getting out of the garage, or no, getting into the garage, is because I'm assuming it's for draining purposes, but they have like this hump in front of my garage. Getting out of it is because of the cold start, right? It doesn't really require gas getting out of it, it's just getting inside of it. All right, now here comes the second point. This is always the loudest. I go for it a little bit. Sometimes the car allows me to baby it, other times it doesn't. Pop the hood, let some of that heat out. We're good boys, let's go. Something about leaving the windows down on your race car while it's in the garage. I heck a park to the right though. Look how much space is over here, dog. Pop the hood, let some of that heat out. Everything look good in here, nothing looks out of place. We have like random oil everywhere. We good. And I am currently on my way to San Diego, San Diego. We're gonna be staying down there again this weekend, or at least for tonight. I'm sorry I didn't film that race between me and the GTI. Trust me guys, I wanted to. Trust me, I did. But it was one of those situations where I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm in the moment now. Like, obviously it's gonna happen regardless, right? Unless I didn't want to do it, but I wanted to do it. I I can't film it, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't sit here and die trying to you know, film something that's not really that serious. So I said it earlier, basically what happened was, I couldn't I couldn't race in second because the clutch is slipping, you guys know in the last video. I, I literally showed you in the last video. That was literally the title of the video, the last video. Um, tried to do a second hit, and car wasn't having it. Clutch, the clutch slipped right away, right? So then I was like, all right, well, whatever, well, I'm gonna have to do third gear. Which is fine, third gear is good. Like, it's still quick in third gear, but it third gear is more or less like top end, and then, like second, how I how I use my power band and my gear ratio, however you want to say it. Second gear, I would like to use for racing. I can when a clutch doesn't slip, because it gets me up there. That's where all the, the torque is at, right? So it gets me up there quick. And then third gear, I just go I just go through the whole freaking gear itself, right? Last forever, and that's where the horsepower is at, right? Tor some torque, but that's where the horsepower is at. So it just keeps me up there. And then fourth gear, and so on and so forth, right? but I can't use second. So basically what happened is I was in third and that was pretty much it, right? I we, I punched it in third and we went and I had him on the hit and then as soon as I shifted the fourth gear, he passed me up and I, that was that. And uh, I mean, it's what it is. The thing is like that the Nismo is not, it's not quick. That car is fast, like it's fast, right? And we got to redefine the word fast nowadays because these fools think that a thousand horsepower is fast. Like it is, I'm gonna be wrong, but like, we got a, the, the bar has been misplaced. That's probably the best way I can put it. The bar, it's not, it hasn't been raised. The bar has been misplaced. These fools don't understand the, the word fast anymore. But anyways, that car's not, that car's not quick. It's fast, right? But at the same time, it's fast at a level where it doesn't take much to beat it. Nowadays, you know, these cars nowadays freaking downpipe and tune and you're at freaking 800 horsepower, right? So I don't know. I just, it's not really that serious. Like, yeah, you know, it's fun runs, it was fun, this, this, and that, but like, it's not really that serious. I don't really care if I lose a race. Winning's cool, obviously I, I would love to win, but like when I lose, I don't really care, because like I said, nowadays, these cars are just crazy, so. And the thing is like, we have room to grow on the Nismo. Like, we're not we're not even maxed out on that car, so if I really wanted to add some power to it, I could. Um, and that's definitely coming in the future, right? Like, I do want to build the motor, like build the bottom end, um, potentially do like a bigger turbo because uh, I want like 800 to like 850 out of that car eventually but obviously that's down the line um, but yeah like I said I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I did not film the race I wanted to but and the thing is like I the guy the guy that I raced I know he filmed it 
he had like a camera on the side, but I don't know who's that. <laughs> I don't know how to reach him to, to get the video to show you guys. Um, if, I, if I found it, then obviously you guys would have saw it by now. But like I said, I'm, I'm sorry guys. Maybe next time. It is so nice getting inside of a car, like a low key car, your comfortable car. You know, it's, it is so nice. I'm forever grateful for that. I've never uh, overlooked that. I love this car. I love it dearly. Until it's time to fill it up, yo. With gas prices now, this is like a 15, 16 gallon tank. This is like $90, yo. And it doesn't even take 91, it's 87. And it's about 90 bucks. Gas is insane. But, can't complain. Because I'm just grateful that I actually have a car to put gas in. So, can't complain too much. And But that's honestly the reason why I like driving the Z on the weekends. Because E85, like yeah, it burns quicker, but I don't really go too far unless I'm going to like meets in LA, like I just did today. But like I'm, I'm normally local, so like it doesn't really like affect me too much. And then when the tank is empty, it's like max like 45, 50 bucks to fill it up. So that's exactly why I drive the Z on the weekends, and this car stays parked on the weekends. But I'm gonna end it here. Um, I just want to say something, and I thought about this today. There's gonna be a very bold statement. You guys ready for this? I don't know when, but one day, I will be one of the biggest automotive content creators in the world. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah. Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Got to me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it because you all cap like.